Today's lesson is on converting between the customary and metric systems. So we're going to complete the statement. So for number one, we have five inches equals blank centimeters. In order to convert this, we need to know our conversion factor. Our conversion factor tells us that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. We're going to use this conversion factor to help us solve the problem. So now if we look at our original problem, we're starting with five inches. So I'm going to go ahead and write five inches. I'm gonna go ahead and make this in a fraction as well. So I need to write a one in the denominator to make that a fraction. Now I'm gonna multiply by the conversion factor. I wanna convert this to centimeters. So I need to place centimeters in the numerator. Now that leaves inches for the denominator. Using my conversion factor, I can plug my numbers in. So in my conversion factor, I have one inch. So with inches, I will put a one. And then I have that that's equal to 2.54 centimeters. So with my centimeters, I need to put 2.54. Now I can go ahead and multiply. Since I have inches in the numerator for one fraction and inches in the denominator of the other fraction, those will cancel out. And now I'm just left with centimeters. So now I need to go ahead and multiply five times two and 54 hundredths. And that will go in my numerator and then my denominator would be one times one, which is just one. So this is gonna be equal to five times two and 54 hundredths. Now I will multiply that out. So 2.54 times five equals, five times four is 20, five times five is 25, plus two is 27, and five times two is 10, plus two is 12. Now I need to put the decimal in my answer. In my problem, I have a five and a four after my decimal, so that would be two places. So in my answer, I need to move two places to the left for my decimal. One, two, gives me 12.70, or 12 and 70 hundredths, and that would be centimeters, or I could also write this as 12.7, or 12 and 7 tenths centimeters. Now for my second problem. I have seven miles equals blank kilometers. First, I need to figure out my conversion factor, and that is that one mile equals 1.609 kilometers. I will use this conversion factor to help me solve the problem. So in my problem I have seven miles, so I'm going to write my seven miles, and then I'll write that over one, and then I multiply by the conversion factor. I'm converting to kilometers, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the numerator, and then miles would go in the denominator. Now I use my conversion factor to write in my numbers. One mile, so one goes with miles, is equal to 1.609 kilometers. So with my kilometers, I have 1.609. Now I can go ahead and multiply this out. I have miles in the numerator of one fraction and miles in the denominator of the other one. So those will cancel out. So now I need to multiply. I have seven times 1.609 or 1 and 609 thousandths. And that's in the numerator and the denominator would be one times one, which is just one. So this would be equal to seven times 1.609. Now I'll go ahead and multiply this out. One and 609 thousandths times Seven. seven times nine is 63, seven times zero is zero, 
plus 6 is 6. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 1 is 7. Plus 4 is 11. And now we need to place my decimal point. I have the 6, 0, and 9 after my decimal, or a total of three places. So I'll move my decimal three places to the left. 1, 2, 3. And I get 11.263, or 11 and 263 thousandths. And my label would be kilometers. And now for my third problem, I have that three meters equals blank inches. First, I need to look at my conversion factor. And I have that one meter equals 39.37 inches. Now I'll use this to solve my problem. So I have three meters in my problem. I'll write this as a fraction. So I put a one in the denominator and then I'll multiply this by my conversion factor. Since I'm converting to inches, I'm gonna put that in the numerator, and that means I will put meters in the denominator. Now I need to look at my conversion factor to fill in my numbers. So one meter, so I'll put a one with a meter, is equal to 39.37 inches, or 39 and 37 hundredths. So for inches, I have 39, and 37 hundredths. Now I can go ahead and multiply this out. Since meters is in the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of the other fraction, that label will cancel out. So now I need to multiply. I have three times 39 and 37 hundredths. That will be in my numerator and my denominator is one times one, or just one. That would then be equal to three times 39 and 37 hundredths. Now I need to multiply. I have 39 and 37 hundredths times three. Three times seven is 21. Three times three is nine plus two is 11, three times nine is 27, plus one is 28, and three times three is nine, plus two is 11. Now I need to put the decimal point in my answer, and I have one, two numbers after my decimal, so starting at the right, I'll move my decimal two places to the left. So one, two gives me 118.11 or 118 and 11 hundredths. And then my label would be inches.